All right. So everybody probably has one of these, a smartphone. Who could have believed that only 10 years ago, um, when people had phones, uh, these phones, uh, people thought that they could only use these phones for you know, texting, calling, and maybe play a little game of snake. Um, only in 2007, actually at the end of 2007, Apple introduced the iPhone, Google, Android OS. And in the last couple of years, uh, the smartphone has revolutionized the way um, we communicate, uh, we observe, and we share our knowledge. Well, this revolution is now happening with drones. You know, it started in 2007 with a thing called a quadcopter, which actually was one of the first uh, small unmanned aerial systems uh, to hit the non-military market. Um, and back in the day, you need a really skilled pilot to fly one of these things keep them in the air. Now, drones are now maturing into uh, very advanced sensor platforms. And with these sensors, they can, take, they can perform fully autonomous missions. They can communicate and they can work together in intelligent networks. These sensors you know, and hardware of these drones have gotten smaller, more powerful, and more intelligent. And this makes it that these systems um, are ready uh, to see the development from hardware to a software platform. And the software platform that is built on these systems um, allows for endless application opportunities. Now think of applications like for search and rescue, for surveillance, for measuring gas, for checking for mines. There are endless opportunities. And this has a huge impact. You know, we're talking today about security. It has a huge uh, impact on the safety and security market. First of all, um, if you consider human resource, you know, it really decreases the need for human resource because these drones they can take over tasks from people and they can do it more efficiently. Secondly, drones can sense uh, things that humans cannot detect. You know, with the sensors uh, they have, they can um, see things with things like high definition cameras, with uh, their thermal imaging cameras, with sniffers, with microphones. So these are things that make drones uh, more, can, uh, make them able to detect more things than humans can. But I think the most important thing that these things have is that they don't put the operator in danger. You know, would you send your uh, crew, your rescue workers, uh, to a, a nuclear site, a nuclear disaster site, or to the aftermath of an earthquake? Would you let people measure, do actual gas measurements? Now, these drones uh, are replaceable and humans are not. Well, and drones, they have something else in common with humans. They can work together. They can communicate. And by combining their sensor networks, they can uh, really, they can, uh, ma it makes them intelligent networks that can work together and that can do and can perform tasks much more efficiently than humans. Um, take, for example, if you're looking for a plane wreck, you know, sending out 100 drones will make it much more cost-effective and will make it uh, probably much more effective to find, actually, the crashed plane. Then again, if the plane was flown by a computer and not by a human being, would it have gone missing? Well, if we look closer to home, uh, you will probably see drones in the near future that deliver medicine to your doorstep, or check your roofs for leakage, or even find your missing cat. And I think that the, um, um, you know, what's happening at the moment is if you have uh, drones, you know, that can get smaller, that can fit in your pocket, 
You know, that's the real future, and that's the real thing that you will see around you. And this future is happening now.